So today we're going to look at two series types of thermal imaging cameras. There's been lots of conversation about why you would have this camera or which one is which. So of course we're going to show you the one series thermal camera and the five series thermal camera and we'll show you the differences between the two. Depending on your application, you might need both of these particular cameras or just one of them and these demonstrations will now help. Okay, so let's start with the one series thermal camera. Now, on the one series camera, as you will see from previous videos and some samples that we've shot today, then of course in this case here, we have the cooling detection, we have the smoking detection, we have IVS, intelligent video system for tripwire and intrusion with human and motor vehicle classification. I suppose the only difference this time is on the thermal detector, that can also do human classification as well. When you keep it in the original thermal view no colors just the original thermal view then of course it has the ability to detect a human in thermal so of course that's a unique selling point with the one series camera it also has infrared white light illuminator active deterrent and of course comes with a siren so of course in this case here the one series thermal camera is already massively powerful within itself but of course where to deploy now in this case thermal detection one series will have a much shorter range on the thermal detection than the larger cameras so of course this would in fact actually be suitable for the small to medium business solutions possibly and of course because the camera is considerably smaller the detection range is considerably less this is the cheaper version of the thermal cameras so this is the one series of thermal Okay, this is the five series thermal camera. So once again, we've got our sirens, active deterrent. This one, of course, it can in fact actually detect temperature at up to 50 meters away. Then I suppose the thermal classification might not be there. However, though, you still do thermal classification on the visible lens, but compared to the one series thermal camera, the detection range on this camera is incredibly wide. So the one series thermal camera, that will actually have a very short detection range for the field of view. This will be maybe 10 times more. And of course, because of that, it of course obviously could cost more. However, though, much more impressive when it comes down to your thermal detections, most likely for long range perimeter protection. Okay, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. All the best.